Hi, this is Jane Rikus, and I wanted to tell you about my personalized wardrobe planners. You can actually order a basic wardrobe planner, which will give you the indication of what the sort of model is that, that I'm using for your personalized planners. And that is that a capsule wardrobe, your basic stock of clothing that you would then add to later, but that you should have in order to, that they all work together for you can be best determined by um, using your body colors. So body colors are used by several different systems. Um, Hale has them in um, the palettes that are done either painted or um, uh, fabric fans um, by students descending from Kago students or I do a fabric fan that is fully individualized by your body colors that's um, the co color profiles system and that is on my blog expressing your true colors and then um, Zila does a form of using body, co body colors which is slightly different than the one that I use and body colors is also used um, by uh, Bernice Kentner's Color Me a Season in um, some of her publications. So what I mean by body colors, partly um, this gets around needing to fully define your season, although it would certainly go in concert with knowing your season as well, but it's the simplest way of looking at your colors. And it's also a method of using colors with intention and purpose. So for example, um, if we start with your hair, skin, and eyes, the color that you most naturally have. So um, you can find your, your hair color by looking beneath your hair in the back or someone else's beneath their hair in the back, the most natural color. Um, and you should have in your basic capsule wardrobe, um, a jacket, blazer, um, over some kind of nice um, cardigan, in your hair color, a, um, a skirt and a pair of pants. So essentially a suit. Um, now you wanna do that within the, um, your style facets for your outer lines. And that would be something that is in another report that I do, which is slightly different. And that report is the McGimsey Style Consult, which I have another video for that I will link to. But so you start with your hair color and that uh, in your, um, sort of your separates, your neutrals, and that has a grounding effect to, you, to be sure that you've got something that matches your hair color. Now, I have very dark brown hair at this time in my life, and so I can get away with wearing black. A softer black is better. But if you don't have dark brown hair or black hair and your main separates are black, um, you probably want to use those less often or with some of my tips for how to wear black um, by let's say using another good color from your um, palette as a scarf or a blouse um, to make sure that that softens the black or what's better is if you would get um, the same basic neutral separates in your hair color so um, a skirt a pair of pants and a jacket or cardigan in um, if you're blonde you would want that to be in a very light taupe or an ivory or some color that um, you would match to your hair if you're um, a lighter brunette then again a taupe whether it's cool or warm um, because taupes do come in cool or warm, would be determined on whether your hair color is cool or warm, um, also your skin color. You could also use a, um, a cocoa brown or a, um, a lighter, warmer brown, depending again on the color of your hair and the, and the temperature of your hair. If you're a redhead, then you can wear um, what would be sort of the rust colors or basically you want to find colors that really harmonize with the type of red hair color that you have and then if you have gray hair, hair color or your hair is graying 
um, then you want to start to heather your neutrals and then when it's fully gray or silver then you can wear obviously um, beautiful uh, grays silvers whites um, as your neutral bases then you also want to look at the colors in your eyes especially the lights of your eyes which means the color that appears to be glowing in your eye it may not be the overall color of your eye And anyway, picking the color that you'd like to, getting um, another suit or separates, pants, skirt, and jacket in the, your eye colors is something that really provides you with neutrals that are um, provide balance and harmony for you. Um, so that's the beginning of your staple wardrobe. Then you want to get four dresses. And this could also be blouse and skirt if you prefer that over a dress, but four um, dresses, and those would be in the colors of um, one in your eye color, one in your essence color, which is essentially harmonizing all, this, all the colors in your skin, one in your romantic color. Now your romantic color is the color that you blush and you can find that by um, pinching your finger and on your fan usually it will be identified as a red, a coral, an apricot, a rust, um, into the purples. There's various colors that your romantic could be. And, and then you want to dress in your dramatic and your dramatic will be the color of from your veins and I have I don't know if you can see it, there's a purple and I also have a blue um, and that blue color is in my dramatics and so you want to have a dress in your dramatic color. probably want to get blouses as well in those four colors, the um, eye color, the essence color, the romantic, and the dramatic. And those have different purposes. And so I'm going to be showing you that in your um, personalized planner. Um, you also want to then have your medals, which means your jewelry and the clasps on your belts and your purses, etc., cetera, um, to fit with the um, metal that's given in your fan or uh, to match your metals to your body colors the best thing to do is to go with your hair so um, that sometimes isn't very intuitive but if you're blonde for instance and your and your blonde hair is um, cool you're going to wear light golds leaning towards silver if your hair is golden blonde you're going to wear um, light gold leaning towards the warmer yellow golds, that kind of a thing. So um, if you have red hair or auburn hair, you can wear the, your metals should be um, looking towards the bronze or copper, um, etc. And then your personalized planner includes several individualized polyvores done for you. Now a polyvore, you can start by ordering that. I do those um, for people and, and uh, they are essentially a capsule wardrobe example or sample. And you can actually order the clothes that are in the polyvore.